Hey, welcome to the big promo cast. This show, we like to highlight brands that use custom merch for marketing and promotions to give our audience some ideas for their own campaigns. We'd love it if you left a review on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, a collab with uh, Spam. Yeah, the canned meat. And uh, some art swag merch coffee shop thing in Philly. That's kind of cool. In Philadelphia. There's a coffee shop named Elixir. And they are doing a celebrating 10 years of art at Elixir. And they're known for having murals from local artists in their stores. So now they're, they've are they got a bunch of poets. And the poets, they put their content on these coffee sleeves. So now the, the, the project is called Hard on Your Sleeve. And so this other outfit called Philadelphia Printworks is printing these Shirts, hard on your sleeve shirts. And the proceeds go to charity, which is kind of cool. So even if you're a small mom and pop coffee shop, there's still things you can do. Swag wise to get your name out there and to get your, uh, get your message out to people. The makers of spam are collaborating with uh, some influencers, food and travel creators. And so they have got, and I don't know what those people contributed, but these are all spam logoed items, shirts, sweats, bags, hats, caps, things like that. Proceeds go to charity, which is good. Not the profits, the proceeds. So if you buy a shirt for $25, 25 goes to charity. I hope that's the way it works. Uh, Nom Life, I mean, and this is all reasonably priced stuff. It's not crazy expensive like the A&W Root Beer $500 jacket or the, shoot, we've talked about some other crazy expensive things here. Um Heavy crew neck sweatshirts, 55, uh, a concert, t- a tote bag's 20, printed, a printed t-shirt's 25, hat's 25. That's all reasonable retail prices. That's not, that's not crazy gouging or anything. Um, here, here's the, I'm going to put a link to these guys below, but they're more, they're like food and, uh, what do they call them? They called them food and travel creators because they do travel a lot. They go Brooklyn, NYC. I'm sorry, Brooklyn, L.A., Hong Kong, they go all over the place. I mean, I don't know, people love them. They got 300,000 followers, so there we go. It's not, really, it's not necessarily clever, but it's reasonable. It's not, um, you know, spam's a big deal. I mean, people love it. We used to eat spam when I was a kid, but in Hawaii, there's, they're all over the place. It's, it's funny that they're that they're so excited about spam in Hawaii. Anyway, that's what they all have about that. Nothing to add. Nom life. So whatever nom life is, they're into the spam thing. All right, guys. That's it. Have fun, everybody.